What is going on guys? Welcome to episode number 51 of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. You already knew that. Today I'm extra excited. Think about it. I hate no complies and I hate little kids, but something about today, today's videos only, they break the sound barrier and I actually like them because when I skimmed through them, I was enjoying myself and I think today's episode might just blow your fucking minds. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, first video is from Michael Armendariza, Street Part and Play. Here we go, looking at the dirt, long roll up, wasting my time, flying through the air, and that's what he deserves for the gay comply, or so I thought. Here he goes, gay comply flip over the dirt, a lot of roll away, is he in a pool? I don't know what this is. Usually I say hands aren't allowed, but there was some skill demonstrated there. Double backside flip, toe drag, maybe, I'm not sure. I know what you guys are thinking, this video is gonna suck, but look at that right there. Our minds are already changing. Another weird gay comply hand touch, but for some reason, I think it's okay in this situation because when, boom, this guy no complies, there actually seems to be some skill there. He knows where the board's going to go. He occasionally catches it in the air. His kick flips are kind of lacking on height and intensity, but he makes up for it with the gay complies and hand grabs and shit like that. Look at that. Manuals out of it. You guys get on Instagram, all these guys have their pants cuffed up, and you will never see shit... I was gonna say shit like this, but that was probably my least favorite trick in this entire video. There we go. He's got all different multiplications of skills. Front boards, a handrail, skated the stairs. Look. Boom. He's in there. Multiplication, division, subtraction, satisfaction, conjunction, junction. Look at this. That... Probably one of my favorite tricks of the video. And you guys know, hands aren't supposed to be allowed. Look at that one, 270 out. Didn't move his hips, just let his whole body just Iron Man around. Then he does the gay comply to Tic Tac, heel flip. Didn't really care for that too much, but kick flip nose manual, shove it. There's something about landing tricks square and landing tricks like you actually meant to land them versus, look, Usually I'd hate on this circus trick shit, but when I first watched that, it made me laugh. I really laughed. He fucking, he's doing all this weird shit, and there's a really delicate balance between sarcastic circus tricks and shit like this where, at least for me, I'm really entertained, and you have to mix it up. You're gonna gay comply, you might as well gay comply double flip up some stairs. Then he goes to the skate park, kick flip front rock, a lot of roll away, some weird shit, hand flip again, and then he catches it, walks away. Ah, I don't I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe you guys can let me know in a comment below. You guys know I hate gay complies. You guys know I hate all these retarded hand grabs. What is it about this video that seems to transcend what I've seen in the past? All these other shitty videos. I think it's just board control. Maybe style. Flat bars don't belong in video parts like this. But I have to let it slide because he lands everything clean. And he mixes it up with real street tricks, tic tac, goddammit, motherfucker. And then he's manualing around, he's keeping me always like on the edge of my seat. All these tricks are pretty consistently different. I haven't seen him repeat the same trick 50 times other than the gay comply. And uh, okay, he has repeated this ridiculously long roll up for no fucking reason, kickflip manual. A lot of the kids who do these gay no complies don't have a strong kickflip anyway, so they have to resort to this weird. I watched a Jenkum video the other day and he's like, yeah, this trendy skateboarding is all about less is more. And at first I was like, well, that's an easy way to put it, whatever. But then I thought about it. He was right. This new age skateboarding is not about skill. It's about like kind of just relaxing and looking cool in place of actual skill. Why would you learn skills when you can go to the skate park and sit down, smoke a cigarette and do a no comply? Oh, Filmer almost fucked that video up. And it's not over. I thought that was the banger. It is the banger. Finishes with a fakie 360. I don't know what it is. And maybe you guys can help me. I don't know what it is. All the rules that I've set forth via episode 1 through 50, they've all been broken here 
other than the bad filming and bad colors. Everything else has been broken. He should be, on paper, my least favorite skateboarder ever, but for some reason I was pleasantly surprised and entertained with this video. If you guys want to see more from this guy, a link to this video will be in the description below. Let's move on to the next video. Play. This one's called Raw Clips at Talent Skate Park from Ivan. He does an acid drop, kickflip back lip. Look at this guy. He's a kid. He's got sort of the new age steez. He's got these weird uh, school uniform pants. But he's doing tricks like that. He's wearing a helmet, doing a gay possible. Shove it to a stall, shove it in. Usually when I would, I'd usually hate that weird sex change out too. Usually when I watch a kid like this, I'd say to myself, we're gonna see a bunch of really retarded skate park tricks. Maybe some tranny because obviously the kid started off skating as a kid with knee pads maybe, something like that. And we're not gonna see very much nollie. We're not gonna see very much switch. But again, as I was skimming through, this kid has the kick flip into the front nose. He's got the tray flips. He's not just a park rat. All this shit he's doing, or at least most of it, could translate to street. And I'm not saying that's a 100% requirement, but I am saying that's something that most of these park rats and these little kids lack. And you guys can see he's got the quick feet. He jumped right up there. Whoa, it's getting choppy here. What's going on now? Big jump. He's got the quick feet. He jumps up, kick flip grinds, does some other shit, goes down the hill, up the hill, very real hill. <laughs> That's how a scooter rider would spell the word fucking heel. Backsmith up, maybe a front feeble, no one knows. Action here. Most of these park rats also don't do tricks like that. They don't do all this shit in a line. You're gonna see some of these lines don't just have one cool trick. They have Two or three or fuck, maybe even four. God damn it, motherfucker, I don't know. Coming in backwards, yup. Yup, he was. Jumps up. Who would skate the park like that? Boom, goes down. Is the line over? No, and thank God I didn't have to sit there and wait. Although that trick was kind of whack. Thank God he comes back with another one. Boom, back tail, jumps back in too. Big heel, down the stairs. Again, okay, there was a nollie trick right there. If you guys... If I would have watched this video for 10 seconds and you guys would have bet me $5 that this kid could not let heal some stairs, I'd say absolutely fucking not. And if he does, it's going to be a nose manual heal because these kids don't typically learn how to pop at the right times because they spend so much time skating tranny. This kid, he's beating all the odds. He's beating the sports books right now. Coming down. That was a hard trick already to begin with. Then he does a who knows what the fuck that was, a barley? You guys still call him Barley Grinds? He's dancing on the ledge. He comes down, switch, front heel 360, something again. I would never expect from, uh, from a little kid. Not that he's a little kid. I just, I don't know, consider anyone this size of human being a little kid. He's probably, what, 13, 14, 15? Not really a little kid. Boom! Who would have ever expected that? Was that the banger? Okay, that was the banger. Arguably the lamest trick in the entire video. You do all these tech tricks. You do all these cool tricks. You do all this shit that requires all this skill. And then you end with what I would call a little kid trick. He just went really fast, aired out of something, did a melon, the most obvious fucking grab. Unless I looked at it wrong, maybe there was a kickflip. I don't know. He probably has the skills to kickflip melon that. Boy, wouldn't that be a fun ender to watch. Yes, it would. And maybe we'll see it next video. Super impressed with both of these videos. The first one because maybe he's given me a whole new outlook on gay complies. Maybe I'm feeling a little bisexual compliable. I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of gender fluid on where the gay comply belongs in skateboarding, if it should be allowed in this country or not. But that being said, I'm open-minded about gay complies and little kids skateboarding. I don't want to say I'm open-minded about little kids, but again, there's no reason to judge a book by its cover in skateboarding, but I do get used to patterns and a common pattern with gay complies is those kids suck. And a common pattern with little kids who skate skate parks and wear helmets is that they can't skate nollie and they're boring to watch. Thankfully today, these guys broke through the norms and have achieved greatness 
here on Ninja Lifestyle. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoy my commentary on videos like this. If not, YouTube has given you a voice to express your displeasure with me in a comment below. If you have a video of you skateboarding that you'd like me to review here on Ninja Review, just find me on Facebook, type in Ninja Lifestyle. Try to be less like the old videos where everyone sucked and try to be more like the new videos, like these guys. We upload videos like this all the time here on Ninja Lifestyle, so if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Hit that bell so you can get notified because if you don't hit the bell, you'll never know. That's why the word no isn't notified, notified. And if you're not subscribed, you're a fucking gay boy. I'll see you guys next time. Kuna Matata, bitches.